starts with breaking news. An unexpected power play, PG&E cutting service to tens of thousands without warning tonight, our high heat turning into high drama. Several communities are dealing with rolling blackouts. Yeah, this hasn't happened in this state in nearly 20 years. The stage three emergency cutting the power to up to 250,000 people, but now Cal Isa is saying there won't be any new outages tonight. PG&E is working to restore power to those that have been impacted. We've got live team coverage of all things heat. Let's start with CBS 13's Laura Hayfley in El Dorado County tonight, where thousands of people were suddenly without power. Laura. As you can see, El Dorado Hills has their power back after several hours. This is one of the first areas to lose power from those outages. Cal ISO declaring a stage three emergency, a rare move for the agency, but a necessary one after high heat crushed the power supply. This heat wave too much for the state's power grid to handle. This is happening because it's hot. Cal ISO announcing a stage three emergency for the first time in 19 years. The excessive heat is causing people to use their air conditioning. When they use their air conditioning, the electricity demand goes up. The agency forcing utility companies to cut power to customers. It got hot fast. Blocking out all the businesses in El Dorado Town Center. If it was a rolling out as they should have said something. He's one of more than 200,000 people whose power was shut off by PG&E as part of rotating outages across the state and all without warning. PG&E writing, due to the emergency, PG&E will be unable to notify customers in advance of the power shutoff. The demand for power quickly exceeded California's own supply on Friday and what's available from neighboring states. The nature of this heat wave, it's causing record-breaking heat in the entire western United States, so it's hampering our ability to get imports, especially from the southwest. So Cal ISO is asking people to do their part until the heat wave is over. We're still asking consumers to conserve if they can.